here's where I'm at after that awesome win. Because I one of the things that made me ride a high yesterday wasn't just the fact that the Eagles had just won and they would won convincingly. And Jalen Hurts, I think, had his most uh, prolific game. Uh, he had had four, he had three other 300 yard passing games before in his career. This was the first one that he won. Uh, so I think that's a great side. And, and watching him do what he did and the way he did it was a lot of things that I wanted to see because I think it showed a lot of improvement from last year to this year. One of the things that kind of drove the point home even more was I was watching NFL Live on ESPN yesterday, and I was watching our man Dan Orlovsky break it down. And Dan said he was he was so he was really impressed with a with a play. It was one of Jordan Mailata's holding penalties, unfortunately. But he said, "Watch this play unfold." And if you remember the play, it's a play where Jalen Hurts drops back, he gets some pressure in his face, he rolls to his left, keeps his eyes downfield, and hit, hits Quez Watkins, I believe on it was a crossing route but i mean it goes out of bounds but it, the the point of the play was that it was an easy decision for jalen hurts to tuck it and run as opposed to just get out of the pocket keep his eyes downfield find a receiver and deliver the ball perfectly in stride to that receiver that's something that we don't get an opportunity to see too much of when it comes to jalen hurts in his young career usually we'll see him take that and run and it's a play like that that makes me think, forget about the run first option or the emergency of just running whenever you have to or whenever you feel like, oh, this will just be the smartest play. Yeah, we'll see some of that. But the fact that we saw him at least keep his eyes downfield in that particular instance and not tuck it and run, I think is a huge development for a guy like Jalen Hurts. And I have never been on the bandwagon of oh, Jalen Hurts, he just looks to run all the time. I think he has done more of those plays than he gets credit for. And unfortunately, that one doesn't even count because it was negated because of the holding penalty. But not even thinking about that, just thinking about his reaction to that play, I think is a big deal for convincing people that he has taken steps forward in his career. The other point that was made was uh, Ryan Clark made the point of the fact that he was going to his left. And it's harder, especially as a right-handed quarterback, to rock back and then throw across your body and throw accurately. And Jalen Hurts still did that on that play. I, I'm still reveling in it. Uh, obviously, today being Wednesday, we, we got to start to move on and look on, uh, on to the next game. I thought Nick Sirianni was going to address the media. I still haven't gotten a media schedule yet to know who's going to be talking when. I figured it was going to be the day after. Apparently not. But yesterday, I'm watching everything, and I'm watching everything and, and, and listening to national people talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. And one of my favorite stories to come out, because they both partied on Monday night, essentially, the Buffalo Bills and the Philadelphia Eagles meeting in the Super Bowl. First off, yes, please. Anything that ends with the Philadelphia Eagles in the Super Bowl, I, yep, I'm all ears. Buffalo Bills are a hell of a team. Josh Allen playing like another MVP. Uh, he'll at least be the MVP conversation this season. It's, uh, it's pretty awesome to think about. But one of the points that people are making are, what if Bills Mafia and Eagles fandom met in a Super Bowl together? That'd be the biggest party in the history of the planet. <laughs> that would be absolutely bonkers. But I'll 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 wait. I'll wait for that one. It's it's a great thought to think about. It's a great thought to have rattling around in your brain until you watch the Phillies and then you, you realize, nope, we can't have nice things.